Yeah, I mean, don't mess with the Chinese government. I mean, I think it's kind of the tale of two markets because Facebook, Amazon, and Google also have, you know, antitrust suits against them here in the U.S., and those stocks are still at all-time highs. The same thing happens to Alibaba in China. Stock's down 30%. So I think it's just a good reminder that you know some markets are freer than others. Um, also, we're just talking about how overvalued the U.S. market is becoming. I'm with Dennis. I think it is probably overvalued here and probably going to keep going higher. But if you're looking to diversify your money, you want to have emerging markets in your portfolio. But it's a good reminder: China's not the only market out there. And if you look at like online retail sales in China right now, it's like 20 percent of all sales are done online, which is actually a high number. The U.S. is like 14 percent. But then you go to places like Latin America, it's only 3%. So I think when you're looking to diversify your money going into next year, like you definitely want to have the emerging markets, but you want to also diversify out of China because clearly, you know, again, it's not the most free market in the world. But when you start thinking about those emerging markets, they're trading at like a 25% discount to the U.S. You're getting dividend yields that are higher. And if you look at growth rates next year, they're going to be higher than it is in the U.S. Like GDP around the globe is going to be 6% versus 4% in the U.S. Mm. So I think right now, like, I'm just so bullish on the emerging markets, so excited about them. But I think, again, the message here is you got to diversify out of China. You can't have all your eggs in one basket. And I think a lot of investors do that. So you got to be really careful. But got to have a global diversified portfolio. Yeah, but, and you can certainly, you know, invest globally by region. You know, you can do ETFs or indexes, to your point, Ryan, that target, say, you know, Eastern Europe or target the Middle East or, you know, you can definitely, you know, Africa even, but, but yeah, I think to your point, I think that's smart. Stay away from China for now.